وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وبعد Then today my brothers and sisters barakallahu feekum the topic is that this religion or this knowledge it is deen as has been mentioned by the great imam and the great scholar of the tabi'in rahimahullahu ta'ala that this knowledge that it is deen so look to whom you take your knowledge so there is no doubt that the topic that the brothers have chosen that it is from the most important topics of our times which is from where do we get our knowledge so it has been mentioned and we'll begin with this title itself inna hadha ilmu ilma deenan that indeed this knowledge it is deen inna hadha ilma deen fanzuru amman ta'khuduna deenakum that this that this that this knowledge is religion so look to where you take your knowledge and this was a statement as we have mentioned of the great imam muhammad ibn sirin rahimahullah ta'ala who died in the year 110 after the hijra it has been collected by imam muslim in his muqaddima to his sahih his book or his collection of hadith the sahih of imam muslim so in the introduction of that he mentions this so there is no doubt that we need to look towards who we take our religion from I want to make a a brief comment or a translation of a statement of Shaykh Al-Fawzan Habibullah Ta'ala he mentions so the scholars take the position of the prophets in teaching the knowledge why? because we know the hadith of the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that indeed Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that indeed the prophets do not leave behind that the prophets they do not leave behind neither dinar nor dirham in the, in the long hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu that the prophets they don't leave behind dinarin wala dirhama wa innama warrathu al-ilma that indeed they don't leave behind money or any form of currency as inheritance but what they leave behind is knowledge فَمَنْ أَخَذَهُ أَخَذَ بِحَدٍ وَافِرٍ that whomsoever takes this knowledge has taken a great treasure so Shaykh Al-Fawzan Hafidhullah mentioning that the scholars therefore they take the position of the prophets in this regard that it is the prophets who it is the it is the scholars who convey that which the prophets left behind to the people so it is obligatory upon the people to seek knowledge from those scholars to turn to those scholars for guidance for seeking their knowledge and we see Shaykh Al-Fawzan's words and we see with great regret and great sadness in these times especially the youth separating and abandoning and distancing themselves from the scholars of this land meaning this land of Arabia, of Saudi Arabia and fleeing from those scholars and instead they start learning at the hands of the ignorant who have no concept of knowledge in the least or maybe they will take knowledge from a people who are unknown unknown individuals unknown my brothers and sisters with regard to their methodology unknown with regard to their clarity unknown with regard to their aqeedah unknown with regard to their salafiyya unknown with regard to their learning unknown so people start taking knowledge from them and they flee from the scholars and they go to these types of individuals that they may take knowledge from those who are unknown and those who have no fiqa no trustworthiness in them or that they have no connection to the knowledge of aqeedah so you will find individuals coming and they don't teach aqeedah they don't teach the manhaj they don't give it its true importance rather you may even find them watering down the, uh, the, the, the methodology or the manhaj of ahlul sunnah cooperating with ahlul bid'ah and working with ahlul bid'ah and at the same time attacking ahlul sunnah and attacking the people of salafiyya so Shaykh al-Fawzan returning to that comment of Shaykh al-Fawzan he mentions 
So instead of learning at the hands of the uh, of the scholars, they instead learn at the hands of the ignorant who have no concept of knowledge in the least, or maybe they will take knowledge from people who are unknown, have no fiqh, and have no connection with knowledge of the aqidah. Or maybe they are astray. So taking from those people who are astray will lead a person astray and lead him into innovation and lead him into misguidance. And then this is a great and great danger upon the religion and upon society. And some of the Salaf used to say, Inna hadha ilma deenun fanzuru amman ta'khuduna deenakum Indeed, this knowledge, it is religion. So look from whom you take your religion. The statement of Muhammad ibn Sirin, rahimahullah ta'ala. Then Shaykh al-Fawzan, he mentions the statement of the, uh, uh, the statement in which the great, the great Sahabi, Abu Umayya, or Abu Umayya, Al-Jumahi, radiyallahu anhu, who said, أن رجلا سأل نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أن الساعة فقال The Aman asked the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم regarding the hour So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned من أشراتها ثلاث That from the signs of the hour are three And one of them the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned إهداهن التماس العلم in the asagir yeah one of the signs of the hour is that the knowledge will be taken from the small ones or from the younger ones from the junior individuals a man also has and this and that narration is reported by Tabarani and others then likewise we have the statement from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu Abdullah ibn Mas'ud he said لا يزال الناس مشتملين بخير ما أتاهم العلم من أصحاب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن آكابرهم فإذا أتاهم علم من قبل أساغرهم وتفرقت أهواؤهم هلكوا The narration or the statement of this great Sahabi, this great companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. He said that the people will never, will never cease to be upon goodness so long as they seek knowledge from the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the elder ones from amongst them. And if they seek knowledge from the younger ones and from the junior ones, they will divide with their desires and they will be destroyed. And likewise in a narration, we have him saying, in another narration, in which he said, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, لا يزال الناس بخير ما أتاهم العلم من, أم من علمائهم وكبرائهم وذوي أسنانهم فإذا أتاهم العلم عن صغارهم وصفهاهم فقد هلكوا the statement in which Abdullah bin Mas'ud said radiallahu anhu that the people will never cease to be upon good so long as they take knowledge from their scholars and from the greater of them from those who possess those years of knowledge and if they take knowledge from the younger and junior ones and from their foolish ones then they will be destroyed this narration being reported by Ibn Manda in his Musnad in the Musnad of Ibrahim bin Adham so all of this should make clear to you my brothers and sisters the importance of taking knowledge from the right sources from the sources of those and from the right people those ulama and those scholars or those speakers that connect you to Ahlul Ilm that they do not compromise with that which the Salaf were upon and they do not hang upon every mistake upon upon every scholar and say that I will follow so they are not they are not also extreme in their taqlid of the ulama that when an alim takes makes a mistake that they regard that to be a proof for them to make the same mistake 
And likewise, they don't abandon Ahlul Ilm. So that they say that we are not in need of the scholars. And we are not in need of the major scholars. And therefore, Ahlul Sunnah, that they recognize that we make ittiba of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as Imam Malik said, that everyone's qawl or everyone's speech can be taken or left, except the speech that comes from him, from the companion of that grave. And then he pointed towards the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, meaning that every human being, 